peach juice. Peach juice. Peach juice. <laughs> Hello people, welcome in or welcome back. My name is Pete, but you guys can call me Pete. And since you guys enjoyed so much of the crow video, which you all know it's bad, but you guys should check the video because I told you guys the story. I decided to try to make the Beetlejuice video as well. This is a spoiler-free video though, because I don't want uh, this one. Uh, it's not this one is not bad. <laughs> it's good, and that's the end of the review. Bye. See you guys on the next video. It's good. And I don't want you guys. To, to miss it, all right? So we're gonna be talking about the bitter juice. Bitter juice. First things first, it's good. I feel that like bitter juice, bitter juice comes with a, a wave of a lot of dark and important for the gothic subculture things that are happening right now. We got the crow, which is bad, but it's part, uh, it was, it's part of our subculture. We got Nosferatu coming out very soon. Right, which show also I also should react to the trailer. We probably could do that. So we have like massive things happening right now, and I feel that like Beetle Juice, Beetle Juice came within this wave, and it's so far the highlight of that. Okay, it makes justice to the first one. Uh, first one is still better in my opinion, especially because like uh, it's dear and. Uh, uh, I don't know, there, there are some things that I, I enjoy more there. But I'm not here to shit on the movie. Not this time. No, 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 no. There are some like, eh, eh. There are some things that like, it could be like a bit better. Like the only, the only, only like kind of like, eh, part is that like, there are a lot of things in the story and they are kind of rushed and they have, they happen too fast. And you just get like, all right, this, this could have like a little bit more of details. Like uh, one character specifically, could have more of a screen time, I would enjoy that because it was such a well-designed character and, and whatnot. But that that's it. That's like the only thing. I feel like it's not fair to complain about this movie. The movie surprised me so much, so much. And mind that, I was walking into that movie theater to watch it with the mind of someone that is like, I, I, I need this. I've been waiting for this, all right? It was fulfilled, all right? The first one, like I said, it's still better. Michael Keaton. I have to say, he has Beetlejuice in his brain. Like, it's been, I don't know, 30, 40 years. It's still there. Like, his acting was flawless. Is it still the same Beetlejuice? The same Beetlejuice with the same kind of jokes. This was like watching an, a, a Tim Burton movie from that same era. Like, everything is so good. The stage design, the backgrounds, the scenes, the, the takes. Like how the shape of things, you know, that everything is just so, so mental. Perfect, just perfect, just there. It's nice to see like some touches like of some chains of personality and, and how they play along the movie, throughout the movie, you know. We got some very, very cool Easter eggs from uh, the first one. So like that was, that was nice to see. Even some cringy ones like that some people are, t are, are talking about like uh, some soundtrack and stuff. It was, I thought it was brilliant. Like there were like moments that were giving me joy and a lot of joy. Uh, and talking to that inner child that watched a bit of juice in the nineties, you know? So that was, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. General Tiger presence there was also something that it was well played. Her character development is, is good. Uh, it was one of the things that were rushed, but it was good. It was good. Within the full character as well, it's so, so good. I don't know. I'm a huge fan of Within the Four already, but like every time that he was appearing in that movie, he was just shiny. His character was just shining with some kind of like magical cinema touch, you know? Every time that he appears, something very nice, very Tim Burton, very Beetlejuice vibes happens, you know, with, with the sense of like, of like the acting. And another thing, I, I cannot, it's not gonna be a spoiler, right? But Bob, I got, I gotta say Bob. Bob, Bob got my heart. You guys are gonna love Bob. Bob is just, it's one of the best things about this movie is Bob. Bob is just great. I want Bob to be my friend. You just go to a pub with Bob and, and have some pints of beer. Or like, I don't know, like go to a goth club with Bob. Bob, Bob is just, just great. Bob's great. Bob's, it's great. He's great. The ending wasn't brilliant, but it wasn't bad. So I would say that the ending was like, I don't know, like six and a half, 6.5, 7 out of 10. 
Uh, I would say that like this is one movie of one hour and 45 minutes and, and you're gonna enjoy that. You're gonna enjoy that. If you enjoy the first bit of juice, you're gonna enjoy that one, all right? It just takes you back. It, it's impossible. Like the atmosphere of everything is just like the same. It's, it's just like, oh my God, I wanna watch it again, all right? On <laughs> contrary to what happened to the crow that I will never see that fuck. I, I feel like it was very nice to see how creative Tim Burton and all, the whole team were with this movie. It, it's just great. It's it talks to you. Uh, if you if you have like bitter juice ingrained engraved in you, it, it's gonna talk to you and you're gonna have a good time. Uh, soundtrack, acting, uh, visually, everything, everything. And the Easter eggs, I, I promise you, they're gonna take you back. Okay, they're gonna take you back. Uh, that's it guys, uh, it's a short, shorter video, short review here, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, if you guys click with my vibe, don't forget, we have the music reaction channel as well, where I react to metal, goth music, uh, I don't know, all sorts of music there, and twitch.tv slash creepeats, from Monday to Friday, uh, 6pm GMT, alright, last but not least, don't forget to drink your coffee and catch your live vertigo, right, bye!